What's up guys, I'm David Taylor with Robo13 and I am at CES 2013 in Las Vegas and I'm going to be telling you guys all about the new products that they're going to be announcing at CES this year. And one of the coolest things that I saw so far has been the Enerplex. I believe that's what it's pronounced, Enerplex, E-N-E-R-P-L-E-X. It is a solar panel case for the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, the Samsung Galaxy S3, and hopefully the iPhone 5 in the next few months. So I'm going to shoot it over to the person who I actually talked to at the booth for Enterplex. They're going to be able to tell you all the technology that goes into this case and be able to show you guys hands-on what it looks like and what the solar panels actually do. So basically what you're looking at here is our Kicker 4 product. It's made with our transformational 6 technology. Unlike glass pack monocrystalline cells, these are both thin, lightweight, and more importantly, flexible. When compared to the competition that still utilizes glass pack, traditional solar, our stands far superior. What really sets this apart from uh, competitors such as Goal Zero is the flexibility, the durability, but also the power. This will charge any uh, any small electronic device as if it was plugged into a wall. That means a cell phone, an iPod, all the way up to a Nexus, any of those Android devices, the same as plugged into a wall. So what we're looking at here is the, uh, the Interplex Surfer. This is a case for the iPhone 4 and the 4S. Like our other products, it utilizes the sense transformation of crystal copper, indium, gallium, diselenide technology. It's thin, it's lightweight, especially in comparison to other cases, which typically are 50% heavier and also 50% thicker. Included in this is a 1400 or 1000 milliamp hour battery, which provides either 60, 60 to 80 percent more battery life for your iPhone. It can be charged via the solar panel or more traditionally via the mini USB port. So currently this case is only for the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S, and the Samsung Galaxy S3, but hopefully they'll be coming for the iPhone 5 soon for everybody who has the iPhone 5. But for the iPhone 4 and the iPhone 4S, it says it can add up to 170 hours of standby time, 3.5 hours of internet surfing, 5.6 hours of Wi-Fi, 19 hours of audio playback, and 5.6 hours of video playback. And I personally could definitely use a battery case for my iPhone 5, especially at CES. My phone has been dying pretty much every hour. I have to keep charging it just because of the cell reception and everything here at CES. And some really good things about this case, it is solar panel, so that's amazing. I've always wanted to have some kind of solar panel battery charger for my devices, and for the iPhone 5 it would be perfect. Please come out with an iPhone 5 version. I really want to get one of these cases. The only downside that I had was that it didn't have a very big lip, like my case right here, the spec candy shell, has a lip of the screen. So if you drop it face down on the screen, the lip of the case will actually protect the screen. With this case, it's pretty much flush with the screen, so if you do drop it on the screen, you're going to have issues with that, you'll probably shatter it, but that's just the only downside I could think of. If you haven't already, please follow me on Twitter so you guys can see all the new live coverage of CES 2013. Uh, it's at DTRobo13, I'll probably have something right about here uh, with a little annotation that you guys can click on, so go follow me on there. I have all the updates, all the stuff on that, you guys can see what I'm doing at that time at CES. But definitely going to check this out if it comes out for the iPhone 5. They wouldn't really give me any specifics about the new phones that it's going to come out with or anything like that. But hopefully they do come out with the iPhone 5 version so I can get that and review it for you guys. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys.